Guys, I got my name here, Mika Tabala. Yeah. With the here. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is good. I'm hey guys, uh, I just Hi. I just got here right now. What's up? What's your name, man? My name is Shetu. Shetu? Yeah. You're working for Ethiopian Airlines? Ethiopian Airlines, Airlines yeah. It's good to see you, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, yeah. This is special. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Ethiopia, I'm home. Let's let's hang out guys. Alright, I'm home. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what is coming. Here we get guys. So we're here guys. I've been taking as a VIP guest. Basar is here. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's my first time to be treated as a VIP. So it's good. Feels good. And this is Africa. Nothing but love here. Ethiopia! Ethiopia! Addis Ababa! Addis Ababa! This is my city right here, man. Oh, so good, so good. Here we are, guys. Here we are. Just this like VIP. VIP, guys. Yeah. VIP. So guys, I'm being treated as a VIP here today. Uh, it's a totally different way. I've never been through this way before. It's crazy. It's crazy. It is crazy. Okay. All right, guys. I think now you know, man. The first time. I've been treated and invited as a VIP guest. I had no idea. So I actually used a different way. I've came here twice, but today I used a different way, alone. I was taken away from the plane with a special people. With a paper, it's written my name, Mika Lucas Chavala. It's taken all the way by the Ethiopian airline car, all the way to this VIP place. And I'm here right now, actually, just chilling. Ethiopia. I don't know what to say, man. You country? I don't know. I'm grateful, man. I'm grateful. I believe this is the place where presidents come and just chill before going to their hotels. This is where they chill. And I'm here, your boy, All right, with my black t-shirt. <laughs> if God is not good, who is? Man. Alright guys, here I am. Man, I don't have a camera man, so you guys, you don't really get the clear picture, but I'm here with my brother. Hey, hi. Thank you so much. Amasa Ganalo. Yeah, I was just leaving here, the VIP lounge, and I'm going to find my bag right now. Very excited. Super, super pumped. Yes, we're going there. Thank you, Ethiopia. You've always been good to me. And I'll always be good to you as well. Y'all know that. You know how much I love you. And by the way, I always say this. My brother's wife, she's Ethiopian, so. Ethiopia, you have a special heart. Yes, a special place in my heart. Before, it was just uh, me loving Ethiopia as an African country. Because as um, Africans, we are supposed to love uh, African countries. We're supposed to love everybody. You know, but one month ago, I just found out that um, my brother, he, he's actually married to an Ethiopian lady. She's Tanzanian, but they moved away from Ethiopia to Tanzania a long time ago. And so, even me, I didn't know. <laughs> but now I know. And she really looks Ethiopian, you know. So I had to reach out to her and to ask her, and she told me the same thing. So when we say that it's family, 
like all African countries with family, we mean it that it's really family. Because even me, I didn't know. So if I didn't care about Ethiopian, now I found out that my brother's wife is Ethiopian. A lot of us, maybe we don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we don't know that. You know, if you check my blood or if you check our blood or DNA, you might find out like we are all over the continent. You know what I'm saying? So it's a time for us to come together and to know that we're one people. All right. Yeah, that's the best thing we can do. Just gonna salute there a little bit. There we go, guys. This is special, guys. That car right there, that's my protocol. And right here, this is my brother, is my driver. And now, we're going to get our luggage. All right. Look at this. Africa deserves a permanent man. Every time I come here, I just get this energy of Africanism. Guys, Africanism. Every time I get here. Oh, man. I understand. Y'all people who are saying that, oh, Mika, I should move to Ethiopia. I understand, man. There's a different energy I feel in here. Different love I feel in here. And I don't know what to say, man. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm crying right now. Let me show you guys. Like I'm, I'm tearing up. Like my, my, my eyes. Do you see my eyes? I don't know why, but I'm just overwhelmed with. Every time I get here, I'm just overwhelmed. It's, it's. It's just a place. Like. I don't know, man. I don't know how to explain. I don't know. If you have the same thing, if you felt the same thing, let me know in the comment section. You know, maybe any any country, maybe you've been there and you felt like you're feeling different kind of vibe. That's how I feel every time I get here. Like, I, I, I think I really need to pray hard to, to, to listen to God and to hear what he says. You know what I'm saying? Because this feeling I'm feeling, it's extraordinary. Country love. The country I love. weather in Ethiopia, beautiful vibes, beautiful people, beautiful nature, man, what is there to hate about this country, huh, what is there to hate about this country, man, oh, don't tell me about issues you guys are having, we all have issues, we all have issues, all African countries has issues. Some are deeper than the others, but we all struggle with one thing and another. We all have issues, guys. All right? You hear me? We all have issues. The thing is, we just need to find the common ground. And how can we move away from this? So, people, let's come together. Let's come together. And let's bring change to our beautiful countries, to our beautiful continent. But about issues, we all have issues, guys. All have issues. We all have issues. All have issues. Trust me, sometimes when you're going through something, you feel like you're the only one going through hard day. You feel like you're the only one going through this hole in your life. But the truth is, we all have issues. And trust me, others will have more issues than you do. Just because you don't see me struggling, just because you don't see the signs of hardship and issues, it doesn't mean that I don't have issues. Usually, 
the issues you see you see those are simple issues those are solvable issues adult things that you don't see those things that are deep within inside you don't see you don't hear you don't see even a sign you, you see just someone is smiling like hey like oh everything is fine man you have to know that that's not a good place to be so some of our countries are like that right but you know what that's what supposed to bring us together because we all have issues then how can we get out of this place?